Virginia is among the worst states in the country when it comes to having rivers so polluted you can get sick if you get in that water. That's according to numbers from the Environmental Protection Agency. In our ongoing series of reports, Environment Matters, WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca reports from the Shenandoah River on how that pollution could affect your spring and summer plans. Oh, you can go straight back that way. Well, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll spin it. Alan, Our team kayaked the Shenandoah River near Berryville, Virginia, with Tom Pelton of the Environmental Integrity Project. This kind of olive green, muddy appearance is not the appearance of a healthy river. The Federal Clean Water Act of 1972 aimed to make all U.S. waters fishable and swimmable by 1983. We aren't there yet. The two states that score the worst in our area for total miles polluted are Virginia and West Virginia. 77% of Virginia rivers and streams are still polluted according to EPA numbers. West Virginia's rivers and streams are 49% polluted. Get a little in your mouth, you know, you'll have intestinal illnesses and, you know, we don't need that. Our rivers are supposed to be fishable and swimmable. We shouldn't have rivers that are making us sick. The Clean Water Act has a loophole. While it prevents factory pollution into rivers, it does little to limit farm runoff of manure and fertilizers. Things environmentalists say contribute to poor water quality. Last summer on the Shenandoah, we saw what's called a harmful algal bloom, which is a algae that contains toxic bacteria that can, that can kill cows, that can poison your pets, that's dangerous to humans. On this 50th anniversary of the Clean Water Act, Environmental Integrity Project and Shenandoah River Keepers have a call to action for all planning to enjoy local rivers and lakes this summer. You need to write your state representative or your state senator here in Virginia and say, we need to mandate streamside cattle fencing. We need to get the cattle out of the public's waterways. Virginia now offers to pay up to 100% of costs for farmers volunteering to fence their livestock away from rivers. Several hundred farmers signed up last year. On the Shenandoah River near Berryville, Virginia, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.